What's up you guys, Zach here. Um, I know you're like, Zach, why are you wearing sunglasses? Here's why, check this out, check this out, ready? You're gonna take them off and you bring them up to the lens and you can get some cool like, you can get some cool reflection stuff, look at that. That's right guys, in today's video we're talking about reflections, getting them into your videos and making some really cool stuff using just stuff that's in your camera bag or on top of your head. Um, recently I was in New York and I wanted to get some like cool creative style shots so a couple things I played around with was taking my sunglasses and bringing them up to the lens of my camera. Super simple to do. Basically you got your camera, you're shooting with it. This is not my primary camera, it's like my old 60D. This, this does not really work anymore. There's not even a screen. This is my diagram camera. But basically all you do is you take your camera, take like a reflective surface, we'll say it's your sunglasses. Um, I would recommend punching in a little bit on your lens to me, let's say like a 50 mil or anything tighter, usually this effect works better. And then just take uh, your reflective surface and bring it right up to the lens of your camera. You might have to pop it out just a little bit and just try and find things to reflect. Usually something that's uh, pretty bright. So like city lights, the headlights off of a car. I mean, we were in this like really cool neon location and it was able to pick it up really well. If you're like me, you don't have like super duper reflective sunglasses. So what I actually played around with is check this out. I took my ND filter off of my camera and essentially, oh, that's super bright. Oh my God, boom. Essentially, I took my ND filter off of my camera and then I just, the crazy thing is these things are super reflective. You take it and you put it right up to your lens and all of a sudden, essentially you have like this little pocket reflection tool and we'll punch in so this thing's a little less prominent and then you bring it up. I'm looking at the monitor right now, by the way. and. Boom, you've got like these crazy reflections. Now, obviously my room is not as cool as let's say New York City, but like, look at that. You're just getting some interesting little reflections in this. Whoa! So it works really well for like B-roll and stuff and basically anything else. And the biggest thing that I wanna teach you guys with this tutorial, you don't need a lot of bells and whistles to get really cool shots. Literally using your sunglasses or the ND filter on your camera can capture some really cool stuff. Use the tools around you, utilize what you have, not what you don't have. It's always good to wish and want and all that stuff, but if all you have is your ND filter, a set of sunglasses, you know, you could literally make some really cool imagery and uh, just play around with reflections. And the biggest thing that I wanna teach you guys is it doesn't even necessarily have to be with ND filters or sunglasses. Just pursue stuff that um, is by accident. Uh, literally, this like cool reflection thing like was found, we found that by accident on a shoot once and uh, I've been using it as kind of like a go-to B-roll type thing. So you're able to get some really cool stuff, try nighttime, try daytime, um, really play around with these cool reflections. I mean, I just tried it in this vlog, so we'll see how that looks. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, and want to take a look at some more, take a look at all of those other vids. Uh, I'm gonna be posting a couple more from this New York trip. Also, you can also check out my collaboration one that was also based in New York City. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll see y'all later, and take care, bye!